Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be wrapping up our super budget, mid budget, no budget version of DEX. So it's a guide that kind of helps you along as you're building archetypes. So this one was on green black, so Golgari, and it was built around the explore package, which is wild growth walker, and then so explore creatures like merfolk branch walker and jaylight ranger. So this is the no budget top that we can build around this archetype throw in all your wild cards version uh, and this one is the first time we're going three colors so we're going salt eye which is black green and blue um, and we're building uh, around the command the dread horde variant of this list um, so this one's probably the extreme it's quite heavy in terms of wild cards i will link uh, in the video a straight green black version of uh, the deck that went 5-0 on uh, Magic Online. Um, so if you want to keep uh, black green only based on like rare lands, or if you have like the Vraska's Contempt, then you can use those there. Um, but I really wanted to play Command the Dreadhorde uh, versions of the deck. Um, so I thought this would be a great opportunity and it kind of explores the how you go from a super budget to mid budget to three color deck. So what this deck's doing a little bit different than the others is we're still built around Explore. So we're still trying to gain a lot of life. We're a little bit more of a ramp deck, so we're playing Paradise Druid. Um, our mana sinks are Hydroid Crisis to refill our hands and to gain us more life. And what we're trying to do is throw stuff into our graveyard with Tamiyo. And then including a bunch of Planeswalkers, so we still have the Vraskas. We're playing a Hostage Taker. I believe you get this free anyways in one of the starter sets, so it's a good one to have. Uh, Nisa is a really good Planeswalker. Uh, could keep putting pressure with your lands and could ramp you up. Uh, double your mana as well. And then we got Big Vraska, which deals with pretty much any permanent type that we need to worry about other than Planeswalkers, and can create tokens. And then the card in particular is Command the Dreadhorde. So what we do is we fill our graveyard with Explore, throwing stuff in there, Tamiyo. We gain a bunch of life off Explore, and then we Command the Dreadhorde back. So if we have a lot of Wild Growth Walkers or Explore creatures in the graveyard, when they enter the battlefield, you gain back whatever life you lost with Command the Dreadhorde. And that can put in our Planeswalkers, the opponent's Planeswalkers, the opponent's creatures as well. So you'll see a lot of variants that are going four color actually, splashing white as well, uh, for little Teferi, big Teferi, all the Teferi bros. Uh, the mana base is pretty much all the duels that you could want and need uh, mixed in. Um, still a pretty green base deck. Sideboard, we have our Duresses still, our Cast Downs, our Elder Spell, Harpooners that we had in our other list. We're adding an Assassin's Trophy, which gets rid of any permanent type. Uh, I wanted to play a Narset just to see how it goes. This could be on Mord Ego as well, which we'll see after a couple games if we want to switch it. Cryo Carnariums, um, our stuff generally will get bigger, but it's more against the aggressive decks. Uh, you could play Masker Girl as well in the place of this. So we'll see if we want to make that change or uh, Ritual Asset, and then some Brontodons as well. So the core of the deck I got off one of the recent MTGO uh, 5.0 lists. Um, I made some variations. They were more heavy hostage takers. I like having the big Vraska in here, and then the sideboard I made some changes. Uh, going down a cast down, adding a Narset. So it's pretty much off an MTGO list with minor tweaks. So we'll run it through, same as always. I'll do one to two matches in best of three, and then one to two matches in best of one afterwards, so you can see how it works in both uh, variations. Uh, after this, uh, it is Friday the 24th right now. Uh, I'm going to try to do the write-up tonight and then have it on Reddit, uh, the Arena subreddit tomorrow morning. Uh, so that'll give all the details, all the lists, everything like that. And it's a great opportunity if you have any questions and chat with others who have uh, worked on it. Uh, the last few that I've done for it, they've gotten, I think, close to 100 comments, lots of, uh, lots of dialogue going on. So it's a great way to brew with others as well. Um, they've offered a lot of unique takes as well. So definitely check that out. So we'll get started. Oh, no, 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 cancel. Jump the gun there. <laughs> so, no budget explore. So those of you who are tuning in for the first time, uh, I'm MTG Joe. On the channel we play everything from budget to tier one. Um, usually you'll have all our gameplay videos on here, about three to seven a week. Uh, we do go live from time to time on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, 
Best way to follow the notices is on Twitter at MTG underscore Joe 2. And then otherwise, um, subscribing is the easiest way. Help support the channel. It's a free way to do so. And uh, yeah, uh, so this hand's a little awkward. We're not really doing much. I don't have a two drop, don't have a three drop. We really only have interaction on turn three. Uh, we'll try it. We're on the play. Like this hand's weaker against like a mono red deck. See if Angrath is really the leader. I gotta change this to the Bolus one. Okay, that's fine. Our hand is uh, not terrible. This could be Bant mid range, it could be Bant Nexus. Uh, I think we just want to get rid of that. Next turn, we can Golgari, Queen, and then Nisa. It's a pretty nice curve. If this is Nexus, then they've had a slow start, but also we haven't applied as much pressure as I generally like against Nexus. Okay, so this is some sort of Bant Super Friends. Could still be Nexus. Come on. The mouse keeps sticking. So I'm hoping on Saturday, if everything works out, to have a, a nice long stream. Uh, I'm going to be trying to push to at least diamond rank. I don't play too much competitive. See how we go. I want to play the four color Dreadhorde version and maybe some more as a Phoenix. But if anyone's had some. Uh, more fringy deck they've had a lot of success with, then uh, definitely drop it in the comments. I like playing more brews and non-tier 1 decks. Uh, here... Here I'm going to destroy the Narset. I want to attack the opponent and just keep putting pressure on them. My mind I want to forgive this. And then I like his next turn, we can uh, draw two off Hydroid Crisis. So we'll just animate a forest here, and then attack for six. Still haven't seen anything. In okay, so this is likely a Nexus deck. So them filling their graveyard won't be the end of the world. I do kind of want to unmort ego now. Should probably try going for the ultimate here. To the library. We'll see what they name here. Cleansing Nova. So it's something to be mindful of. Uh, here. We'll probably still do it. Want to take Tamio off the board. So we do refill our hand. Nisa can start ramping us. Tamio getting back. Oh, I forgot Nisa's ability doubles mana. Uh, so that was a little bit of a misplay on our part. Okay, so good pressure. If they wipe the board, it's a little rough, but we can Tamio back stuff and we still have two active planeswalkers. 
Narset's encouraging. We might need to be a... Okay, so they have a root snare. Sorry, just gonna... I think the dog can't find where we are, where I am. Uh, so here... Just want to force him to use it. Lands you control of indestructible. Search your library for any number of force cards. Put them into place. It's a good ramp. So here I'm going to do a watery grave. So we're going to go for command the dread horde. So nothing that great here. Have that inner tapped. And just decline the, to do that and end the turn. So let me grab the dog. So, opponent finds a Tamiyo, they can get back. So they can get back a Tamiyo here. I oh, said they can get back a Root Snare. So they also have Teferi that can tuck Nisa. Right on schedule. I'm not ready for this quite yet. This does open them up to the... Okay, so do we have lethal? Three, six, nine, twelve, sixteen, eighteen. Yeah, we didn't even need to do that. Seems kind of silly. They should have just waited for roots there. So elder spell in this matchup's good. Narset might be good. Duress. Assassin's Trophy, we'll take out the cast downs, take out the hostage taker, uh, probably cut Anissa, go down the Paradise Druids, they've shown sweepers, I think we just go like that. It's a little bit of liability. They've shown sweepers that can deal with our lands. So I don't want to have our board wiped plus also have our uh, lands wiped. It's just a lot to kind of get hit with. Opponents deciding. Kind of unfortunate we didn't hit the command of the dread horde that game because then we didn't name it so they know that we're playing that variation. But you can see even after we kill a couple of them, we can get back their planeswalkers. Sounds pretty good. Not like over the moon good, but I think going. Okay, got better. So I can still kind of drop an R set this turn. It's quite a slow start by the opponent. So this gives me the most power on the board, and then we'll play Narset next turn. 
I think we just graveyard this for now. Sequence my lines a little wrong, so I'm gonna have to take two damage, which is not completely irrelevant in this matchup. So it's nice it's fine. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. Keep an open mind. Okay, so here. Kill and attack. They'll gain this two life back, unfortunately. <laughs> Such violence is upsetting. Uh, we're more green based, so shock that in. Nebraska. So that can deal with Tamio if need be. We're getting three life each time. Cleansing Nova. With thoughtfulness before action. So here, I still think it's right that we attack Tamio. You're making it difficult to work. So next turn, if we're in a pinch to hit the land for Dreadhorde, we can sock one of our things. So you... I don't know how re relevant Narset is in this particular matchup. Doesn't seem like they're really drawing cards in a traditional sense, other than Teferi. We haven't seen Baby Teferi, but they're almost certainly playing it. Aid your research. Gideon, also a weird thing to name. Okay, so we have to ferry. We'll see what they I tuck here. Let's take it. Also interesting. Now what? I question. Uh, so what can we name? I think I just want to hit the land. To be honest, the other two command the cards. Tamio's on top. Oh, we should have known Vraska was on top. We could have hit it with Tamio. Jake's actually doesn't do too much here. Let's try this. The opponent's actually helping us. <laughs> Danto Vanguard also is more of a liability. So five off this. Okay, you do five damage. Nine. Ten, eleven. Gain two back. So here, let's get them to block. Your victory is just an illusion. So 
here. Let's get to fairy. Chase. So that's nine damage. So we'll gain nine. It's 13, 14, 15. We go to five, go back to seven. Always a step ahead. I won't hide from the world Before any longer. Disappear. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Elder Spell on top. We're gonna... smell our opponent. I wanna keep the Elder Spell. Okay. So they've had enough. So this is a really good example, just a grindy deck that was able to take him out. Um... Can do one more traditional. This is the one thing about playing green black based decks. There's no fast games. You have to be in for the grind factor. And especially playing so many planeswalker mirrors. Opponents on the play. We will mulligan this. Mulligan this. Alright. I'm just gonna fire up again. But I wanna use this as a as a demo, so it doesn't really serve anyone purpose if we try to play off four card hands. We have a good a number of lines too. That first hand could have been a keep fringe, like we were really conditional on drawing a second line. Uh, this hand is slow. But, we try. It's part of learning. Tamiyo could probably be enough of a buffer to take some attacks in. I don't like seeing that color combination, as this is going to be more aggressive. Okay, so Jade Lake gives us something to do and to fill our graveyard. I'm actually going to show Forest next. Make our opponent think we're on Simic. Uh, I'm gonna graveyard that. I think at this point we need answers. Also, if we could get this to die and just dread horde back for some value there. Opponent's got in a, a really aggressive start here. I'm just gonna concede this game. They have us beat, I can't use Command the Dread Horde. So at this point they just think we're a Simic deck. So Cryocarnariums And do we want anything else? Cast down. Nice is too slow. Probably go down a dread horde. Crawl harpooners can take down a phoenix, but they don't do as much. Maybe just an assassin's trophy as a catch all. I think I want a Vraska's contempt. In the sideboard. More so than I want Assassin's Trophy. Like we have no clean answer to Phoenix in this deck. Again. Yeah, I'll keep this. We want land.
perfect. So we want to dodge the lightning strike for a turn. Okay, we're in a good spot. We're in a great spot. Not taking damage off our lands. Just hoping that got to three power so we could have cry carnarium if need be. Next turn we'll probably Tamio. See if they fall for this. Okay, so I can't do it with the wild growth walker. We got two points of damage in. Uh, here. What do we want? What do we want? Jade light. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Just gain more life. Hostage taker, but it was less likely we hit hostage taker. So they can hit in so they can kill Tamio. That saves us a bunch of life. Could use some manners. It's kind of unfortunate. Cry's also not as good Our now. Time together is finished. We hit in for three, just try to race them. I'm just gonna block with Paradise Druid here. If they have shock, then we're dead. Okay. Switch the Assassin's Trophy to Vraska's Contempt. I think that's the right. Or Nixus is the three mana one. Uh, so let's play some best of one. That matchup seems probably one of the rougher ones. Like, they're aggressive, and unless we get a good explore curve out, they can go over the top. They can interact early with our explore creatures and then have reasonable threats. Sounds great. We're missing black mana, but... It don't think we need it right now. These should help us draw in some more lands. Okay, mono red. So the thing with mono red. If your wild growth walker survives the turn, you're laughing. If it doesn't, that's interesting. So we need to dodge one turn. One turn. One turn and then it's out of range. Nope. Take my back shock. So here, here I'm gonna go Jade Light. Since next turn we can double. It's fine. We wanted three powers to trade with the Arcanist. They got rid of the shock, so they can't recycle that. But of course, they never not have it. 
Hit us for another two. So I'm gonna do this first. So we're dead to a burn spell. Of course, one off. Burn me. Strike me. Skewer me. What you got? Uh, we lost this game. We give them the cards, they kill us next turn anyways. With We've played it through a bunch of our explore creatures without the wild growth blocker. So much of that matchup is literally, can you kill it on turn two? If not, we win that game. We would have gained... We had three, four explore triggers, so 12 life. Which would have put it quickly out of uh, range. Try this out. Delete on the watery grave. So really by turn four, we want to hit a Jade Light Ranger. Pump up these wild growth walkers. We can use Tamiyo to help us dig for it now. Grixis. So at least we had a branch walker. So there, if we get these big enough, their sweepers won't really do much. They will have clean removal. Yeah, so they just cast down here. Be sinister sabotage that they're showing. Since they're doing that, yes, okay, so it's the devil. It's fine, I'd rather they do that. I'd rather keep the second one, they can help us dig. I want to try to go command the dread horde now. So think of command the dread horde in this deck as a uh, pumped up uh, fine finality. Sorry. It's been a long day. Okay, so they're in the gate. So the second Tamiyo is not terrible here. Here we're also just putting pressure, like they're taking time to interact with us. That just fills us up more. So we have six life to be gained. Opponent hasn't hit anything really. Ideally would like a land. Read the cards. 
So, Tamio stops people from sacrificing. So there was a play where we don't animate a force, which we probably should have done. Still only hit one explore creature. So I might just do a second. Yes, fine. They made the decision for us. Um, here. Let's attack. And then we'll just command. So, two, four, six, ten. So let's keep gain some life here. Seek and find. Command the dread horde again. The belligerent needs her create a token. Ah, oh, I screwed that up. We should have done Overgrown Tomb, and then I could have played J Light Ranger out. Learning is important. It's a new deck. I haven't been crazy about Nisa in this. I think I just want more Vraskas. Or even uh, Narset. Like, there's times, like, we're low on mana. I haven't really had a, a desire to cast more. So this will let us explore a bunch. Graveyard that. Yeah. They just get huge and we kill the opponent. Anyways, I think that's a good mix. So you got two best of three matches, two best of one matchups, played a variety of decks, got a feel for the deck. I think I like Vraska's Contempt in the side over Assassin's Trophy. Personal preference thing, but you can play around with it. Anyways, thanks for those watching. I'll try to have the write up by Saturday, May 25th, up on Reddit. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.